So the practice uh, of the past paper is going on. Let's see part B. Complete the trace table below for the following assembly language program LDD810. So what is at 81028? This 28 will be loaded to accumulator. This is load direct to accumulator. LDD810. So 810 has got what? 810 has got 28 in it. 28 is loaded to accumulator. Then increase the accumulator. So accumulator will be increased by one and it will become 29. Then we have got store at 812. So this will be stored at 812. So 812 was initially zero. Now it would become 29. So store means that whatever the current content of accumulator, take that and store at the given memory location. So when it became 29, 28 is gone. It is replaced. All right, so then it says that LDD811. So what is that 811? 41. And this 41 is now loaded to what? Accumulator. LDD811. And then it says that add the content of 812. So what is that 812? 29. So 41 plus 29 is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. All right, so this will be added and will be placed in um, accumulator. All right. Okay, G. next one is a store at 813. So the content is now uh, 70. It will be stored in 813. And then your program is ended, finished. Okay, so 806 is executed. All right, so at DD810, the content of uh, 810 will be stored in accumulator. The accumulator will be increased. The increased value will be stored at 812. Then the content of 811 will be loaded to accumulator, LDD811, and the content of 812 will be added to accumulator and placed back in accumulator. and then the result becomes 70 and that 70 then will be placed in uh, 813 at 805 it, it says store at 813 and then the program is ended and the control gets back to the um, operating system all right now okay uh the table shows assembly language instruction for the processor. So they have given LDD load direct, load indexed, store, add, compare, jump if equal, jump if not equal, jump unconditional out the content of accumulator, whatever it is the number, respective graphical representation will be out to the screen and end. So these are the addresses in binary form. And here is the content in binary form. All right, so show the content of accumulator after execution of the instruction LDD802. So what is that 802? One, double zero, one, and zero, triple one. There we go, okay? So you got that. So show the content of the accumulator after the execution of the in instruction LDX 800. So what is in index register 1248? Index register has got nine, nine is the offset. So 800 is the base address plus offset, which is in index register that is nine. So that would become 809. So we have to bring in the data. This is the final address. So we have to bring in the data from 809 and put it in accumulator. So 809 says double one, double zero, double zero, one zero. Double one, double zero, double zero, one zero. That's your answer. All right, so 
explain how you arrived at your answer. So you will be telling that uh, we took the base address from the instruction, which is 800, and we added the offset, which is the content of index register to it to get the final address. And from that final address, we brought the value in the accumulator. Uh, complete the trace table below for the following assembly language instructions. Okay, so it says that accumulator, then it says that 801, 802, 802, 801, 803. Okay, so 800, 801, 802, 803, and then the last one is output. So there we go. So it says uh, LDD 800. So what is at 800? 800, it is 40. So 40 will be loaded to accumulator. Add 801. So what is at 801? 50. So 50 plus 40 will become 90 and 90 will be placed in accumulator. Then it says that store it at 802. So this 90 will be stored at 802. Load 803. So what is at 803? 803 has got 90 in it. So this 90 will be loaded directly. Again, 90 is loaded. So mind it if the previous value and the next value, even if they are the same, you will still be reloading it. So 803 had got 90 in it earlier. 802 had zero in it earlier. 801 has 50 in it earlier and 800 has got 40 in it earlier. Theke? So this is now loaded. Load 803. 803 has got 90, which is loaded here. And then compare with 802. So now 803 and 802, they are the same. All right. So what happens that 803 has 90. So your accumulator is 90 and it is being compared with 802, which is 90. So they both are equal. So the comparison will be said to be true. Okay, so comparison will be said to be true. So the comparison is true. Jump if equal, what it says, jump if equal, jump if equal. So since the comparison was true means it was equal, so we will jump. Where we will jump to 107 now. We will jump to 107 because the comparison was equal. So now we will leave 106 and we will jump to 107. 107 now says store at 802. So this 90, which is an accumulator, will be stored at 802. 90 remains 90. Doesn't make any difference. Then out. Out means whatever the number at in uh, sorry in accumulator, its graphical representation will be output on the screen. So 90 says what? Z. All right, so this Z will be output to the screen. There we go. All right, so this Z will be output to the screen because the ASCII code is 90 and here they have given it. So 90 has got what? 90 ASCII code has got character Z. Then it says that out afterwards, it's, it asks you to jump to 112. So now you jump to 112 and program is ended. There we go. That is how you would have to tackle the tracing for such of the program. Now, previous question. So it is uh, sort of same. LDX 90, you know. Just sort of saying, let's do it. Okay, now what they have done, they have included the instruction number over here as well. So we would have to actually take this into consideration. So instruction, workspace, accumulator, instruction, 
workspace accumulator and the, then we have got addresses 1991 92 93 91 90 91 92 93 these are the memory addresses and then we have got what index register and output so index register and output so in instructions they said 2021 20, 22 23 24 25 26 so they have given it themselves 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 and then they have uh, given accumulator which is empty and then at address is 90 2 90 it is 2 91 it is 90 92 it is 55 93 it is 34 and index register is 2 93 is 34 and index register is true so that is how we will start now LDX 90. LDX 90 means 90 plus index register which is 292. So what is at 92? It is 55. This 55 will be loaded. This is instruction number 20. So this will be written in accordance with, with instruction 20. So at 92 it is 55. So 55 is loaded at the in the accumulator at instruction number 20 that is LDX 90. Then comes uh, 21, decrease the accumulator. So this would become 54. Then comes store at 90. So this, it is in uh, 22. So in front of 22 at 90, we will save 54. So this 90 is no more, 54 is in address. 90 sorry uh, not at 91 at 90 increase increase and sorry it says what is store at 90 so uh, uh, and the instruction number is 22 so here 54. This 2 is gone. Then increase the index register at instruction number 23. So index register was 2, now it has become 3. So this 2 is gone. At 24, it says that LDX 90. So 90 means that 90 plus index register, which is now 3. So this has become 93. So at 93, it is 34. At instruction 24, the accumulator will become 34. Instruction 25, decrease the accumulator. So it would become 33 and compare with 90. So 90 has got 54 in it. 90 has got 54 in it. Compare with 90. And what we have got in accumulator 33. So this comparison is false jump if equal so this would not work because it is not equal jump if not equal this will work so we will jump to 31 jump if equal why it did not work because it was not equal all right had that been equal the jpe would have worked since it is not equal that is why jpe did not work jpn will work so we will jump to 31 at 31 it says so after instruction 26 which is comparison we went to instruction 31 which instruction 31 all right so 31 31 says that add 93 so what is at 93 34 what is in accumulator 33 so 33 this this working needs to be done over here so i am not doing it there you will be you people will be doing it in the given workspace area so 30 uh, 
what we were about to add, add 93. So 93 is uh, 34, so 34 plus 33. 34 plus 33 is a 4, 5, 6, 7, and 67. So now the content at the address 31 would become 67. 67 will be then stored at 93. So this six, at which instruction? 32. So this has become 67. It is stored and then out. So what is at 67? So 67 has got what? C. All right. So, so this C will be output at which instruction? 33. So 33 in front of 33, we will say C. All right. And then the program ends. Get the idea? You've got to be very good with it. So, so you don't have to actually get to the table to look what this instruction does. You have to have enough practices. You have to have enough practices so that no matter what sort of question is appearing in front of you, you just do it. All right. Or you have to be um, very comfortable with these instructions. Okay. Now, let's go further. And there is another question. I will be sharing this uh, file in your group today so that you could perform a few of these uh, uh, Traces yourself as well. So I'm leaving it for you. Let's see if we have got something different than that. Okay. Okay. So index register and then degrees index register. And no, this is as usual. Let's see if there are any questions which are a bit different. LDD increase is stored, load, add, store, and this is very simple. Very simple. Okay, LDD 102. This is simple. Again. All right. Okay. Now, what it says. Let's solve this question. This is actually a very good question to understand that the mother tongue of the computer is binary but the expertise you need to bring to the computer is through uh, assembly language so assembly language when it is conveyed to the processor it is in the binary form so this is one of the best questions this is the last question i'm doing and i'll be sending you this uh, uh, this paper in your respective group whatsapp group and then you people will be solving it okay so the trace table is this. So you can now see that this upcode the mnemonic part is actually this in binary. Okay, so uh, it is not given. They have only given this part. This part in binary form. Get the idea? Operand, we would have to actually look into it ourselves. Operand would be the numbers, numbers in binary. So how many bits are there for opcode here? Eight bits, one byte is for opcode, okay? So LDV is actually, this is uh, from the old slavers. So LDV command is no more there. This LDV means load the given number to accumulator. This is LDM basically. For us, this is LDM command, this is LDM. So whatever the number that will be given, we have got this this way, LDM immediate N. So consider it the same command, okay? So store then LDI, LDX increase out CH is basically now just out. So this out character. So this is just out, that's the same as we know of. Then in, then jump, then compare and then jump if equal, okay? So let's solve this question. The given instruction shows the binary number used for the instructions of code. Now be very attentive. We know that opcode is on the left side and operand is on the right side. And from these uh, values, we have an idea that opcode is of eight bits. So the given instruction shows the binary number used for each instructions of code. All instructions in the machine code. So now you need to understand that when they say low level language, it is, it is assembly language. And when they say machine code, it is binary. 
It is actually the low level language itself, but the representation is now in binary form. All the instructions in machine code are stored as 16 bit patterns with the opcode as the first eight bits and the operand is later second eight bits. Okay, so let's cut it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is your opcode. Opcode is also called what? Mnemonic. M N E M O N I C. And this is operand. O P E R A N U D. Operand. Okay, so what describe what this command does? So this is actually one zero one zero 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 zero. So we would have to look into it here. One zero one zero 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 zero. So this is this command. This means that this is LDM, the given number. Now let's see what is the given number. We have found out that this is LDV or LDM command. Now which is the number? Number is in binary form, which is operand. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So this is 192, 128 plus 64, uh, art, no, yes, this is 192 plus 1. So this is 193. So what it does, it takes this value as a number. So this command is what? According to this question, it is LDV193. And according to us, the new syllabus, it is LDM immediate 193. So this 193 will be stored in the accumulator. Get the idea? That is how it works. Okay, programmers prefer to write machine code instruction in hexadecimal. Why? This is actually the same question as we would have done it in um, O levels, which means that uh, numbers in binary form they appear redundant to us, and there are chances for writing it uh, improperly or uh, understanding it or misunderstanding it. Whereas number in denary when they become large again, redundancy become apparent and we are actually out to write it wrong. And uh, in us in basically hexadecimal, they are more in control. Okay, so same thing as we have already done it in uh, all of this. Uh, part four says that what is the hexadecimal number for the machine code instructions shown in part B2. My hexadecimal number for the machine code. All right, so this is LDV193. So this would be the number. We take these four bits first. So this would become zero. We take these four bits. This would become five. So one, two, four, zero, five. And operand, if we take operand, this would be one, two, four, eight. Eight and four, 12 means this is C. And then this is one. So this would be zero five C one. That's your hexadecimal for the machine code instruction in part B two. Okay. Zero five C one. C is 12. And then show the 16 bit machine code for the following instruction JPE 204. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is your opcode. And this is your operand. So this is operand, and this one is opcode. So JPE, JP has got this code, JPE. All right, so this is one, 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 zero, zero, <coughs> triple one. That's your opcode's machine code, and then you have to make 204. 204, 128. Plus 64, this is 192. 192. So 204 minus 192. This is 2. This is 1. 12 remains. Are 8 and 4. 1, 2, 4, and 8. So that is 192. So let's check 128, 64, 8. And two. 
Eight and four, sorry. Eight and four. So twenty-four. Two zero four. Okay, so this is two zero four. So this is your sixteen bit code. One 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 double zero triple one, and then double one double zero double one double zero. That's your code in machine code. All right. Then we have got this particular question, which says what? Let's see. LDI four fifty. LDI four fifty means go to four fifty. And then from 450, take the address and go to that address and bring the 65 to the accumulator. There we go. And then it says that compare with 32. What is that 32? Compare with 32. Okay, so this is actually the value 32. Uh, so we compare it. Remember, this is the old syllabus, so that is why the hash sign is not there. But as per our intelligence, common sense, uh, we are actually comparing it with 32 because 32 is not the address this can be the address because the addresses are starting from 300 and 504 so compare it with 32 so 65 when it compares with 32 it is false jump if equal to 308 no we are not jumping if it is not equal it is false so it is not equal so we will skip this command and then out ch out ch means out 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 not ch out in the current syllabus, so 65 is actually A. And then load 450, so what is that 450? LDD 450, 450 has got 500, so we loaded 500, and then we increase the accumulator, this has become 501, and it's stored at 450, so this 501 is now stored at 450, jump to 300, so now we jump to, now jump back to 300. Remember at 450 now it is 501. So LDI 450, we go to 450. At 450, it is 501. So we go 501 and bearing in 74. 74 compared with 32, it is not 32. Obviously, it is uh, immediate 32. No, it is not. So it is false so false we will not execute this then we will output so at 74 you can see that this is j all right so this j will be output okay then ldd 450 450 means 501 is being loaded and then it will be increased so this will become 502 and then it will be saved back to 450 so now it is 502 that is how it will go on and they must have asked that uh, uh, how many times you would have to actually execute it uh, no it, 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 it will be uh, finished when the value will be 32 okay now so we now know that this is hash and this is no 50 zero it is five zero two so ldi 450 we go to 450 it is five zero two so the 65 will be loaded back and then compare with 32 false so the jp would not work then we will output output it would become a then ldd 450 450 is actually now five zero two 502 then we will increase it this would become 503 then we store it back to 40 450 so this would be 403 and then we jump back to 300 now it is now 503 so 300 says that uh, ldi 450 we go to 450 it says 503 we go to 503 and we load what 90 Compare with 32, we compared it with 32. It is false because we have got 19 in it. We would not execute JPE. Then we will output it. So at 90, it is Z. So Z will be output. Okay, so at 90, Z will be output. Okay, LDD 450, so it is now 503. And then we will increase it. This would become 504. And then we will store it back at 504. And then we will jump back to 300. Now we jump back to 300. 
we know that this is immediate value and this is actually 504 so 300 says the ldi 450 we go to 450 450 leads us to 504 at 504 we have got 32 so this 32 will be loaded to accumulator now compare it with 32 so yes it is true now so jpe 308 so now we will skip 303 304 305 306 307 and we will jump to 308 and the program is ended bingo all right so that is how it will work you got to be good with it uh, a good chunk of your uh, 75 marks paper will be taken by this topic so let's just take this question up and see how many marks are there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so 12 marks out of 75 so almost 18 19 percent of the marks are there with this one particular i have uh, just seen once in last 18 years uh, that uh, the question from this topic is not there only once so in 36 papers uh, out of 36 paper in 35 paper this topic appeared so mind it this is very important topic okay and uh, we need to be good with this topic and i will be sharing with uh, this particular uh, document with you so that you could perform proper practices so now as far as uh, you tell me i consider this tracing thing and commands and instructions and their groups done now 